Hey guys, so I'm coming to you again from my kitchen as always. It's my favorite room in the house, I think, lately. And I wanted to go over some of the deals I found today. Again, going back to prepping on the cheap, um, I found some really great deals and I wanted to share them with you. I did all of this but one item at Save A Lot. So go check your Save A Lots this week because they have some really good prices on items. The macaroni and cheese, it's not the best quality, it's not the best cheese but it is okay three four dollar so as you can see i got three six nine boxes that's only three dollars and we've got the base of a meal out of each box so i got nine meals here for three dollars to me you can't beat that deal and it's a save a lot brand so it's not a big deal it's still good macaroni and cheese it's just not craft cheesy macaroni <laughs> The other thing I got was lighters. I have probably 10 packs of lighters, and I also have about 10 boxes of matches now, and about 10 boxes of emergency candles. It's all about what you're gonna need to get by on a day-to-day -day basis, and the more you have, the longer you get by with. Lighters are gonna be important for starting fires, um, maybe even sealing a wound, I don't know, but I'm not too sure about that one, but lighters are good matches are good I got some this is for cooking beans any kind of bean actually green beans pinto beans black beans black eyed peas I mean you name it you can add this it's a ham flavor flavored concentrate again if we're cooking in a grid down scenario we want our foods to have flavor. This with some beans will be amazing. And then some just plain rice and you've got a complete meal. If you have vegetables, great. Which you should be planning your vegetables. I can't stress enough how important your vegetables will be in a grid down scenario or an SHTF scenario. That's where most of your vitamins and minerals will come from is your veggies. I got four boxes of macaroni, elbow macaroni, 89 cents a box. Good deal. I also got four boxes of spaghetti, 89 cents a box. And the real big yay, my granddaughter loves lasagna, so I grabbed a box of lasagna noodles so I can make her some lasagna this coming week. It's not a prep. This is going to get eaten pretty fast. Some of the other things I've got, I will freeze most of this. I'm going to research about canning. I know I can can hot dogs. These were a dollar a pack. No, they're not the best brand. They're fairgrounds. But again, we're prepping on the cheap. For a dollar a pack of meat, you can't go wrong. And this is, let's see if I can find ounces on here. 12 ounces of meat. Let's see what this is. This is 16 ounces of meat. So that's not a bad price for 16 ounces of meat. We're actually going to off-grid camp this weekend. So we're going to take a pack of hot dogs, a pack of bologna, and some cheese to make quick sandwiches because it's still pushing 90 degrees here. So cooking, at least a lot of cooking, is not on my list of things to do in the heat. We also got some quick oats. Now there are two types of oats that we stock. We stock the old fashioned steel cut oats and we have a good supply of those put back but I'm getting quick oats for just that reason. They are quick to prepare. You boil your water, you pour it over this, you add some brown sugar, and you've got a great bowl of oatmeal. And I got two of these because they're both going back into long-term storage. I got some mustard to go with our weekend. Another mainly overlooked item is seasonings. And again, I'm going to go back and talk to you all about flavoring your food in a grid down scenario or an SHTF, SHTF scenario. We need flavor in our food or we're just going to lose our appetites. We're going to lose the urge to eat and we need calories. All these, here's a chili mix. Again, a pot of beans and a packet of chili mix. You got a meal. Put it over rice or pasta. Ranch dip mix. There's many, many uses for this. I make a taco soup. I stock all the ingredients, long-term storage to make taco soup. And this would be my seasoning for that. Turkey gravy. If you're doing any kind of bird, and um, say you get a pheasant, you get a, a chicken, you have a guinea fowl, whatever you caught, a turkey, 
here's gravy packets to take that meal to the next flavor level and mushroom gravy mix again make this put it over rice or pasta and you've got a great meal again add vegetables if you can chicken gravy same thing pot roast seasoning if you are fortunate enough to get a deer or a cow because god knows the cows will be roaming free i think in this grid down scenario none of those fences are going to be working but here's something to consider stocking some kind of seasoning packet that you can put it in your cast iron pot put the lid on it put it over a low campfire and now you're going to have some very delicious meat in a grid down scenario here's some country gravy this is a no-brainer for me i stock both canned country gravy which is a sausage gravy and i stock these packets now i only paid 50 cents each packet so i got a really good deal on these today again i was at save a lot these packets if you have the basic stuff to make biscuits you got biscuits and gravy brown gravy mix i use this in my vegetable beef stoop, soups and stews. It adds that nice brown flavor and it adds a thickening agent. But again, it's a flavor. It's great to add. If you just stocked these packets and some mashed potato flakes, you've got a meal, people. It's that easy. Maybe some canned vegetables. It's a great meal. I'm trying to get you guys motivated to get these flavorings in-house and stocked as you're buying your rice and beans and your instant potatoes to put back be picking up a few packs of seasonings or large containers of seasonings just to give you an idea this is one of the things i stock see how big this container is it's a big one i also stock it in my favorite ingredient garlic now, as you empty these containers, I would hang on to them and save them because it's real easy to refill these with some other herb you may be growing in the garden. But these are big containers when you compare them to the size of the other things on the counter. That's how I like to stock herbs. But then these are just gravy packets that I add to add more variety. And one of the other things is a beef stew seasoning mix. Again, to me, this is a time saver, a uh, flavor enhancer, an easy way to throw maybe some vegetables in a pot and start cooking them and throw a seasoning mix in. You may not have beef available, but guess what? You're going to have the flavoring, which is just as important. If all you can grow is carrots and potatoes and onions, yay, because with this, you've got a nice meal and you'll enjoy it many different ways with all these gravy packets. Yes, I bought some Parmesan cheese. That's for my granddaughter. I'm guilty. <laughs> Here's another important prep. I buy the Poly Steel. Again, this is from Save-A-Lot. I actually prefer these to other bags. They're quart freezers. They are um, a lot more affordable than the stuff you buy at Walmart or any other grocery store. And you get more in the packet for your money. There's 40 in this. Yeah, there you go. There's 40 in here. And why freezer bags? The freezer bags are thicker, they're heavier, and if you got to save food and you have a way of freezing it, this is a great thing to have on hand for any leftovers too. And if you had to bug out and you had a bunch of these frozen in your freezer with food, those would be your first grab foods because you would eat those for the first three days as they defrost. After that, you would go to your dry foods. So just because you have frozen food doesn't mean they'll go to waste. You will just have to make sure they're prioritized first. And then I also do the gallon bags. And I do these because I put a lot of peppers in the freezer. As I get peppers, I freeze them so that when I make homemade spaghetti sauce, which right now, don't mind my kitchen, I got spaghetti sauce cooking away here. I can tell you, now I seasoned this from scratch with no seasoned packets, nothing this time, and it's absolutely delicious. I've been sneaking tastes. Now, the other thing, I went to my local farm store, and I think this is a vital, vital prep. If you're going to stay in your home, 
in a grid down scenario and you're storing food at some point this is going to be very very important to you I buy it because we actually have chickens and with chickens come the ver ver <laughs> the vermin <laughs> but um, I'm going to be stocking this in bulk now because I don't plan on giving up having chickens but I do not want to be feeding rats and mice as well and this will actually keep out just rats and mice but there's a formula for roof rats and everything so they have other types and I bought this I think for like twelve dollars today and it's a four pound bucket and I think most people who are prepping are overlooking this I think this is going to be vital and you see the bucket it's in it's a little plastic bucket and think about it what do rats and mice chew through anything they can <laughs> which means plastic buckets what do most most preppers store their food in plastic buckets once they get in the house there's no stopping them from getting into those plastic buckets unless you've put them in a metal sealed room with absolutely no cracks or crevices it's the only way to keep mat rats and mice out now one of the things we're getting ready to do is this barrel right here my husband gets these at work for free I've cleaned them up scraped the old labels off they are clean we're going to be storing food in these in our off-grid location and that's just to protect the food and make sure that we have viable usable food if we have to bug out to this location and it will be long-term stored food and you see I have two here we're going to take one up this weekend and one up probably when Allie and I head to Georgia for our camping we're going to take one up and drop it off but we are going to be carrying some food in this this trip I'm going to fill this today with rice, beans, flour, sugar, stuff, just bare bone basics. And from there, we have our grab and go buckets that will complement anything I store in this. So, sugar, salt, rice, beans, those are the things that are going to go in these cans. These cans are rat proof, they're bear proof. So, that's something to consider as well. I don't know if you have a resource for these type of cans, but they're invaluable to have now i would not store this on carpet because they do tend to start rusting rust is okay because i'm not storing food directly in that barrel my food will be in bags like mylar bags inside this barrel so my food will be protected but the key is is protecting it from mice and rats even raccoons bears if you have an off-grid property you're not actively living on, then you may want to get a couple of these cans and fill them with your preps because of bears. Bears will break in if they smell food. Hopefully I don't have that problem. But that's my update for today. This is my haul for this week, and I think I did pretty good. And I will talk to y'all later, and um, I'll be checking with y'all Monday probably. Have a blessed day.